Hello everyone, this is Gingeropolis. I will be walking you through the Monerodo, or the Monerodo, an operating system for your Monero node that I've been working on for, for quite a while. Um, I want to call this one version 2, so we'll call it version 2. Uh, to get a sense of what the Monerodo uh, is designed to do, uh, you can check out codebox.link. And here I have uh, detailed what the Monero do, the Monerodo operating system is. And I will soon have the, uh, the new R2 link up. But this is the basic idea, is you have a little device, your little server, that sits on a shelf somewhere and runs all the Monero stuff. So your little laptop or your tablet doesn't have to run all this software. So you can have a home node running all the time. It's your personal Monero server. However, setting up a server can be difficult for some people, so I made a, an operating system that essentially does this for you. So, once you follow the instructions that are here uh, to build your own Monerodo, um, you will then restart your box, your computer that you just installed it on, and then you'll unplug the monitor. Um, it is meant to be run what is called headless. And so once you install it, unplug the monitor, turn it on, on your normal computer, you then open up a new tab and go to home.mynode.link. And this will take you to your little splash page for your Monerodo. Um, are there various things you can access on your home server? Uh, the best thing to do is to use the terminal interface. So just click on terminal mynode.link and then the pass the login and the password are provided on the uh, the node box.link page but it's Bob and then the password is provided there and this recognizes that this is our first time uh, using the Monerodo so we'll get a new password um, this I suggest going to random.org um, they have a nice password generator there, but we'll just use something simple here. So we'll make a new password, uh, the current password, and then our new password. All right. So now we enter our new password to access uh, the Monero do Monerodo menu. All right. So the first thing we'll see is that. Monero core is not running, and the operating system suggests to check out item 0, uh, things to set up first. So type 0, and this is a little information about you know security with this device and this operating system. You shouldn't trust me. I am just some random dude making operating system for you. Um, but hopefully you'll use it long enough and then eventually trust it. I'm not skilled enough to make it uh, malevolent or malicious. So that being said, you really shouldn't store, you know, 500,000 Monero on this device. So that being said, um, we're going to turn on Monero Core. So that's item zero. This is the Monero Core settings. Um, we're going to turn Monero Core on. And we have it running. So. Now press enter to continue. We'll see that it's still synchronizing. Um, and we can, we'll have to wait until uh, that is synchronized. So you can keep an eye on uh, that synchronization in the uh, device management submenu. So we go here and we go into uh, status of the Monerodo. And so um, it is too busy right now to do anything, so we just have to wait. Um, so I will pause it and come back to this. Okay, so we'll go and check the status of the daemon, and we are now up to date. <clears throat> okay, so we will go back to uh, setting up the recommendations. We now see that Monero Core is synchronized, um, so we go to zero again. So now we'll set up the pool wallet. This is what you set up in order to set up your own uh, pool server. 
So you need to create a wallet to use for the pool server. I recommend creating a special wallet because you have to store your password in the con file. Um, so there's no wallet here. So it's important when you do this to uh, exit Simple Wallet. So I highlighted it there. Okay, so we're now we're going to create a new wallet. We'll call it poolwallet.bin and we'll have a password. This is just a standard uh, simple wallet program in Monero Core. So now we're uh, we're done. So we just hit exit. So now we have pool wallet available to be used. And the password I used was Monerodo. <coughs> okay. So now we're setting up the server. This is just confirming that the address is the new pool wallet address. Um, then you need to enter a mining address in case you wanted to mine with your uh, Monerodo. So we'll go here, enter mining address. Um, I don't have a mining address handy, so we're just going to use the um, the Monero Core software developer address and. And if you just copy that, go back here, right click, okay, that'll be our mining address, hit enter. We're going to set up an external uh, mining server. In case you don't want to mine on your own device, you can just connect to another pool. Um, and this tells you uh, that you shouldn't mine using the CPU on this device. Um, this just happens to be the particular hardware that I'm using. It doesn't have a good CPU. The uh, operating system automatically checks if you have a good CPU or not that's worth mining. Okay, so we have a pool wallet, uh, mining address, um, don't need a new wallet. Now the Mininodo wallet web server. So we'll set that up. Uh, we want to set up a new wallet here again. And I recommend reading all these instructions, that way you don't mess things up. So we'll just call this mini nodo, we'll call it uh, nodo wallet.bin. Hit exit when you're done. Okay. Again, make a good password for your wallet. That's so correct. Okay, so uh, next for the Noto wallet, <clears throat> um, you need a, another password to access the mini Noto wallet server. So just make up another password. Okay. So now that all that is done, we need to actually turn on the pool server and the Noto server, the mini Noto server. Um, so now to do that, we go back to the main menu and we go to device management. And we go to Manage Monero Settings. And first we'll turn on the pool settings. And it says our pool wallet is not running, so we'll turn it on now and it boot. So that's started. And the wallet has to synchronize, so we can't do anything until it's done. And now we're going to turn on the mini Noto wallet server. It's not running, so now we'll turn it on and then boot. And this is still synchronizing, so we can't do much yet. Um, so let's check on the uh, we'll check on the pool wallet, and it's still synchronizing. So we can uh, watch the synchronization in the uh, log menu if you want to. Um, so here is the pool wallet server log, and we'll try to watch it live. Um, this error apparently is just uh, associated with the version of Monero Core, uh, we can ignore it. Uh, the new release will fix this. Um, so again, to exit this live log, you hit Control C, and so we just need to wait <clears throat> until uh, these these wallets are synchronized. Um, so let's see if pull uh, it's still synchronized. So I'll just pause and come back when it is synchronized.
So while this, the wallets are updating, I'll walk you through some other uh, features of the Monerodo OS. Um, so for here we have, uh, you can modify Monero settings, and so uh, change Monero core settings. Uh, here you can turn it on and off, uh, but you can also change the download and upload rates. Um, so if we go here, uh, the standard is 2, we could enter, um, you know, this is kilobytes per second, so we can enter 4, and the download, we can enter 4, and uh, this is starting it automatically, um, so uh, Monero Core is not running now because um, it changed the settings, so now we got to turn it on. And so uh, now the Monero Core is synchronizing again, so hopefully our wallets are fine. Um, so we can go back and see how the pool is doing. Uh, the pool wallet is not running. Ah, and now the pool wallet is synchronized, um, so uh, we can check the status of everything. Um, status, so we're synced. And we can go to the settings and check the pool. That wallet synchronized. Check the mini nodo. That wallet is synchronized. Okay, so now you can enter a new tab. Go home.mynode.link. And then we can link to uh, the pool and the wallet. So we right click open a new tab. This will load our pool. And this is all to see uh, the daemon activity. And then we can go to our wallet, which is the mini Nodo server. And this is a great way to actually use Monero uh, from your Mon Monerodo device. Monero do whatever. Um, so here we enter the password that we set up, and so now you can use this to send coins. And this is actually uh, put together by Shen, um, and so it actually works with, uh, with XMR.2, so you can send to a, a Bitcoin address uh, from your wallet. Okay, so we see that we now have uh, our mining pool set up. And um, there's also other ways to access um, the Monero. Mon you know, I'm just gonna start calling calling it the the node. Start accessing the node. Um, this is the webmin, and so it's gonna tell you this isn't private because your your box is in your house and you don't have a certificate set up on it, um, and so. This should be uh, the same as your, your login for root. And then uh, the Agenti admin is kind of buggy, um, but it's kind of nice when it works. So, And the, uh, the login for the Agenti stuff is on the nodebox.link. And so, importantly, one thing that is really awesome with the Monerodo operating system, I got it, is the mining. So we have the NVIDIA set up on this one, and so we're going to activate the local pool mining. And we'll turn it on now, and so it has started. And so we'll eventually see it pop up on here, and I'll pause it until we do, because I'm running out of time on this free uh, webcast-o-matic thing. Okay, so we can see that the uh, the pool has started to see the hash rate from our uh, NVIDIA miner on the same box. And back on the terminal, um, you could go to uh, Device Management and go to Access Logs and see the uh, NVIDIA log. And so you can see that indeed uh, we are submitting uh, hash rate. And so again, uh, this is the Monerodo operating system. It's best used on a box in your house and with an NVIDIA card 
and you can do all this fun stuff with Monero relatively easily. Uh, look at the website for instructions. Thanks, bye.